Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on the device. So, as you can see the device in front of me is locked, obviously. And what you want to do, uh, number one is connect to Wi-Fi and then basically get to this point where I am right now. So just try to progress with the setup till you see verify your account. And from here you want to tap on the field and then tap on the three dots and then select Samsung Pass. Continue. It will ask you to update it, so let's tap update. Check this on. Uh, so I have read and agreed, whatever, agree. And let's see, can we... Can we skip this somehow? Let's try it again. So apparently we have to first update the Galaxy Store before we can actually go to where we need to get. So let's try that again, Samsung Pass, continue, update, and there we go. So now we're where we need to be. So from here, let's scroll down and then we'll have the view all, tap on it. And you can see there is an email, so you wanna tap on it. Uh, let's tap on skip. And we're gonna add email address. And you wanna choose either Outlook, Hotmail, or Live. So the Microsoft version, any here. Now, if you don't have one, um, you will need to create it for this purpose. So it doesn't really matter. Just just for this once, you can make a basically a temporary email for this and just forget later about it. So I already have one created. Let's tap on next, and I'm gonna put in a password for this. Okay, so from here we're gonna sign in. Now the damn, let's try that again. I think now it's working, yep. So it was cap sensitive. Um, so once you log in, we're gonna tap on next. Next, doesn't really matter. And then take me to mail and it will open this up. So from here, tap on the three dots and go into help and feedback. And now we're gonna, now we're gonna open up, give me a second, need to actually check. Um, So it's going to be I think it's this one. Delete or disable apps on Android. Yep, that's it. Okay. So once you open this up, uh, basically need to search. So I will go back. Uh, it's from mail. Tap on help and feedback, and you will see this. So from here, delete or disable apps on Android, select that. And you'll have this button right here, tap to go to application settings. And from here, we're looking for Chrome. So, Google, tap on that. And from there, you wanna open it up, so you have the button to open. No thanks, we don't want to sign in. And then in the search bar, we're gonna type in, come on, disappear. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to actually type in the settings itself. Okay, there we go. I was trying to type in the uh, specific part in the settings, but I just type in settings or whatever, however need, far you need to type it in so we can see the settings up. So from there, I'll tap on it and we're gonna go into biometrics and security. Um, there we go. So right here. And from here, gonna select other security settings and then where is it? Let's see, um, pen windows, there we go. I'm gonna enable that and tap on it and then enable this once more and it will pop you up with the uh, that we need to add a way of locking the device. So tap on pen, put one, two, three, four. Um, and continue, one, two, three, four, okay. And we're basically set in here. So once you have added the pin, I believe we're gonna, I think, reset the device. Let me just quickly make sure. Yep, so what we want to do now is hold the power key Oops. and select power off. And once the device shuts off, you want to hold the power key once more to turn it back on. There we go. So let's unlock it. Um, enter pin. So it's the pin that we have set. And from here, we're gonna go. So again, you wanna progress through the setup. Let's do it fairly quickly. And this time around, when we get to the page where we need to verify the account, it will give us an option to also use the pin or it will start with it. So verify pin. And basically the pin that we have set will replace the old one if there was one set. So all we need to do now is type in the one that we have set up right before the restart of the device, tap next, and skip the skip the uh, Google sign-in verification. This is just a normal one that you can now sign in if you want to, you can skip this also. So let's do that, don't copy. Now keep in mind that the process is still not finished and we need to, we need to reset the device uh, once more, uh, but through these settings. So from here, we're gonna disable all this so we don't waste time. Skip, skip, and finish. So let's open up settings. From settings, scroll down to general management. Select reset. Factory data reset. Reset. Confirm the pen again, the one, two, three. Oops, uh, one, two, three, four. Next, delete all. And the process will begin. Now, once this is finished, we will be back in the setup screen, but this time around the device will be fully unlocked. So I'll see you once that has basically finished. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so let's go again to the setup process of the device. But this time around, we can set it up as however you like. Now, once more, I'm just gonna go through it fairly quickly, skipping most of these options just to save on time. But like I said, you can do it however you like. Uh, 
And as you can see, I was able to already skip Wi-Fi, which if the device would be still locked, I would not be able to. So let's progress. And there we go, as you can see, now the device is fully unlocked, set up, and everything should work just fine. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.